name is Carolina. Welcome to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you get a notification every time we have a new video. So today I have a recipe I know you all gonna love it. We have churros with chocolate sauce. So let's see how we make it. For the churros we're gonna need all-purpose flour, one cup, water, one cup, sugar, one tablespoon, salt, half teaspoon, unsalted butter, three tablespoons or 50 grams, one egg, and vegetable oil. For the chocolate sauce, we're gonna need milk, one cup, semi-sweet chocolate, 110 grams or one cup of chocolate chips, sugar, one quarter of a cup, cornstarch, one teaspoon, cinnamon, one stick, vanilla extract, one quarter of a teaspoon, salt, a pinch. You can also use milk chocolate, but make sure don't use any sugar because otherwise it's gonna be really sweet. Let's start with the churros. In a small saucepan, combine water, butter, sugar, salt, and bring to a boil. Once the water starts boiling, add the flour and start mixing with a spatula. After 30 seconds, remove from heat and keep mixing until the mixture comes together and is smooth. We know it's ready when my mixture doesn't stick to the saucepan. We're gonna transfer the dough into a clean bowl and with a spatula we're gonna flatten it up and let it cool down for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're gonna add the egg and start mixing until getting a very smooth and soft batter. If you have a stand mixer, you can use it for this step using the paddle attachment. Don't get frustrated if you think your batter is not gonna come together. Just keep mixing, you almost there. And this is how our churro butter should look like. We're gonna transfer the batter into a pastry bag fitted with a star tip. You can also use a Ziploc bag, but in either case you wanna make sure your plastic is very thick because the churro butter can rip it easily. You can also try using double pastry bag or double Ziploc bag. When the oil is very hot, we're gonna fry the churros over medium-high heat. Just to squeeze the bag and with clean scissors, cut them to the desired size. If your scissors are sticking with the butter, just dip the top into the oil and then cut.
Make sure you're turning the churros so they don't get burned from one side. Once the churros are golden brown, put them on a paper towel. When your churros are still hot, cover them with sugar. If you want a Mexican version, just add cinnamon to your sugar. Let's move to the chocolate sauce. First, we're gonna make a slurry using two tablespoons of the milk and one teaspoon of the cornstarch. We're gonna mix really well and then we're gonna set aside. In a small saucepan, combine the rest of the milk with the cinnamon stick. Once starts boiling, remove from heat Cover with a lid and let it steep for 30 minutes. Remove the cinnamon stick and turn the heat on to medium high. Add the chocolate, sugar, vanilla, salt and whisk well to combine all the ingredients. Once the chocolate is well combined, we can add the slurry and keep mixing until getting a thick consistency. This can take about 10 minutes. Once we reach a thick consistency, our chocolate is ready to enjoy with our churros. You can always make the chocolate first and then the churros, like it's really up to you. Enjoy!